is Trisha Boggs with Iowa Homeland Security and Emergency Management. Welcome to the presentation regarding accepting your EMPG 2017 subaward. This video will cover accessing specific 2017 EMPG documents, including the subrecipient manual, local 2017 guidance, federal 2017 guidance. We'll also cover how to access your project, EMPG 2017, make it your favorite in EM grants, and finally, we'll show you how to accept your subaward. To begin, you'll need to log in to your EM Grants Pro account. Once you have logged in, you will need to access the 2017 grant. Down in your home screen, you'll see the label Open Grants. You can do a quick search to narrow that field by typing in EMPG. That will filter the selection down to only those EMPG grants. Then you can select that grant, and you'll be taken to a red bannered screen that says account for 2017 EMPG with your applicant name, likely your county emergency management agency. From here, I encourage you to go to the grant level to access specific documents. You can use the breadcrumbs up here above the 2017 EMPG grant level is where I'm encouraging you to go. So you can click on that and it will take you to a rust colored, orangish brown colored screen. That is the grant level for 2017 EMPG. And I want you to scroll down to the documents tab from there, there are three specific documents that are new since you applied. The federal guidance document was issued, the Notice of Funding Opportunity, back in June. You need to click on that, open it up, and read through the specific federal requirements for 2017 EMPG. Also in this list, you'll see the local guidance for 2017 EMPG. This goes over the program description, subaward information, eligibility information, application and submission, subaward administration, contact info, and additional information. It is important that you read through this and familiarize yourself with the 2017 EMPG specific local guidance. Also in the grant document section, you'll find a subrecipient manual. In the past year, you would have received a binder that showed how to maneuver through the EM grant system. Now it is all in one packet of information uh, that goes over specific things, including the uniform guidance, grant terms and conditions, how to walk through your project, managing your allocation, requesting reimbursement, what supporting documentation is needed, quarterly progress reporting, if there are any changes that need to be made, how you submit for those, and how you close out your subaward. There's also some helpful hints in how to navigate the system. Those are three documents that you want to be sure that you access and review and are familiar with as they assist with the 2017 EMPG process. Going back to your account by clicking on your home screen,
Again, filtering down to EMPG, selecting that grant, it will take you to a screen that has the red banner across the top, account for 2017 EMPG. And if you scroll down to projects, the projects, subtab projects, will provide you with a link to your 2017 approved project. Go ahead and click on that. From here, you'll notice the banner turns blue and it should say project and F stands for federal number. This should say 2017 and then the number that is associated with your county. You can disregard the S number, that's a state number, it's automatically generated in the system. And then after the last dash, you'll see the title of your application. In this case, it says testing example. What I wanna cover right now is how you access your project 17, which is what we just did, but how do you make it your favorite so you don't have to walk through that, those steps again? To do that, a couple different options, but the easiest one I find is that the star to the left of the word project, if it is grayed out, it is not your favorite. To make it your favorite, simply click on that star and it'll say added to favorites. Now let me show you what benefit that does. Say the phone rings, you get called away, someone steps into your office, you have to log out or um, you don't get back to this till the next day. To go into your project now, it is now one of your favorites. So anytime you were to log into the screen from your home, it's over here in your favorites. You might have several things listed as your favorites, but here it is, project testing example. Another location for it is up here with the matching star to the left of the lo logout button. You can click on that star and it'll show you, you might have a few favorites left over from last year or from your application. They're usually broken out here with little subheaders, applications, here are your favorite applications, and here are your favorite projects. So if you no longer want your 16 project as a favorite, you can simply click on that X. Do you want to remove that project from your favorite? And that way, anytime you come in, you can simply make sure you go to your 2017 since that's the only project there. You can have as many or as few favorites in that list as you want, but that alleviates the need to go through your account to get to the project. It's a quick link. Once at the project, how do you accept your award? That's what we're going to cover next. From the project level, and you know you're at the project, because it says project, it's got the blue banner. You scroll down to the documents tab. There should only be one document in the project um, section at this point. you should see your sub-award document, also referred to as the CAF with GTNC, Commitment to Award and Accept Funds with Grant Terms and Conditions. You would click on that document, click View, click Open, and scroll through the award document. This gives specific information about the CFDA number, how much we received for the federal award, the federal awarding agency, what the grant number is, the federal award date, and the cash match requirement. Over on the other side, you should see a subrecipient grant agreement number along with the, you, the subrecipient's organization information, the DUNS number, and the amount awarded um, with this action, which would be your federal allocation. 
EMPG is a one-to-one -one match. So this is your federal award, the 31,535. And you're required to match that with $31,535. On this document, you'll also see the sub-award period of performance. October 1st, 2016 through September 30th of 2017. My contact information as the EMPG grant manager and our division administrator's signature. Then you come to the page where uh, your signature and the commission chair's signature and dates are required. Uh, the coordinator's name will be pre-populated. The commission chair, you will have to type that in. Continuing to scroll down, you will see the grant terms and conditions. It is, in very, it is very important that you read through and have your commission chair read through the grant terms and conditions. There's 12 pages. It also includes the federal grant terms and conditions agreement articles that are passed down um, from FEMA to Iowa and Iowa in return um, is passing it down to the subrecipient. So make sure you review those for any changes from previous years. In addition to the grant terms and conditions, there are three appendixes. One is the table of contents for the two CFR. The second is regarding personal activity reporting. And the third is for prior approval uh, for food in non-travel status. Those are the documents um, included in the grant terms and conditions. You will need to print the entire document in, in its entirety, which would be 23 pages. And then you would need to type in or write in your commission chair's name. Your name will be pre-populated get signatures and dates, and then you will need to scan the entire 23-page document and upload it back to the project level. I have already scanned or signed and scanned an example document, so to do that you click Add Document. First, before I do that, make sure if that has taken some time Let's actually then walk through it completely because likely you'll print it, you'll review it with your commission chair, then you will need to um, have the signatures, scan and upload them, save them as a PDF. Then at that point, might be a couple days later, so you log back into your system, you go over to your favorites, you find your project, you double check that you are at your project level, you scroll down to Documents, then you click Add Document, choose File, And if I were you, I would encourage uh, naming the document something like signed example county 17 calf with GTNC, something with the word signed uh, and then your county, signed Benton County uh, award document, something that you know what that is. And then uh, you will have to select a type and I recommend awards dash approvals agreements documents. Do not select anything with internal only. If you were to happen to check that box, you would no longer be able to see the document once you upload it. So you leave that box blank. Then you click Upload. 
Now there are two documents in there, one that's unsigned and one that's signed. You need to notify me that you have successfully uploaded the document. So from your project level, you're still at the project. On the left-hand side, you can select Notes. Click Add Note. Type in my last name. With a short note, click Add. That will send me an email notifying me to go in and um, make sure that everything looks good. So that is what we've covered in this webinar, in this video tutorial. We've covered how to access specific 2017 documents, including the subrecipient manual, the local guidance, the federal guidance. We also covered how to access your 2017 EMPG project and how to make it your favorite for easier access in the future. And lastly, we covered how to accept your award. Thank you for your time.